Well, it's another moment, another, 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 little bit, blah, 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 and blah. Take two! Well, it's another excuse for me to throw items at a wall and see what sticks. Only this time, I actually have something in mind to show off the sheer level of stupid breakage. Do prepare one's arse as it may begin to pucker. Ludo? Hydrophobicity? Burning bush? <laughs> I mean, this is pretty interesting, but this is not what I intended. Bomb bowling! It's, it's bomb bowling! Bomb bowling! BOMB BOWLING! <laughs> That time's a charm. If I mess up anymore, I'm gonna have a goddamn charm bracelet. Dr. Fetus. Brimstone. Ludo. Burning bush. There it is! God, you'd think that I hadn't already done this before or something! <laughs> I don't even know I got bomb bowling before, but we got this. Thing. We got this goddamn Coco Pop ring. We <laughs> We got this cheerio of pain and misery. It's fantastic. Let's just keep experimenting with what comes into our lives and see if we can get it to work as intended originally. Oh, and by the way, I did forget to actually mention, because of the Ludo and the bombs, this is essentially a permanent more of the void. You don't have to move the analog stick, the anything, you don't have to fire. This particular version of fire is stuck to you. <laughs> Bank on that with all of your Johnny Cash. Let's take that, see what happens. All right, uh, let's not even talk about the fact that Burning Bush and Holy Shot proc together. That's actually really cool. The ring, however, is not. Hello, Duke of Flies. I've, well, that's... Oh yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> More damage to a perpetually reincarnating ring of torture. I mean, obviously I'm not going to complain, but I, I was thinking things more creative, a little more out of the box, and yet here we have what we've got. Also, I've now remembered what I was meant to add to make this a little bit more... Lit? I fought, I fought saying that for a good 10 seconds that was probably cut out for pacing, but know that I was conflicted saying it. I, it's basically 2020, the multiplication of shots. Unfortunately, the ring we've got at the moment really doesn't look too thematic given the ring of fire. It's instead turned to basically the mold you find on the back of a fridge that on a house that hasn't been inhabited by, ooh, I don't know, anything for several years. But still, I'm, I'm sure we'll work on it. Reflecting? Will the fire come back? That it will. And now it looks like more of a glowing ring of fire, and I like that a lot more. <laughs> I would never have thought to have added that myself, and that's why we let the item rooms RNG determine that. You know what? Yes, birthday candle. How the hell can you- Oh, all right then. <laughs> Apparently, uh, my wish was for my brain to work, as it's finally making sense. Hello, big ho 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 It's so big now. You absolute bitch! I know you're dead no matter what, but the fact you managed to live on an invisible health! It just had to be you, didn't it? This is beautiful. Oh, okay. No, so... My eyes have officially become flashlights. Isaac's eye- You're gonna be in the fire? I am actually sending out little ignited heads of Isaac. The nightmare continues, everyone. <laughs> Swear to God, you left me one more time, right? You didn't laugh at one of my jokes when I was growing up, but as soon as I'm in this nightmare where I'm dying on a chest because you didn't look after me properly, suddenly you're all giggles, huh? Jacob's ladder with this? All right, I'm curious to see what triggers that. The the laser? You, you like how I asked the- Oh, yo, it is the fire. I thought for a moment the fire had already hit and didn't work. No, no there you go, it's the fire. Good, because if it was the laser, it would constantly proc and endlessly go off, and I believe the frames would crash down to a plummeting nothing, and I'd have to start the recording again. Parasite, huh? I should not have done this! <laughs> okay. Yep, I, I- Oh, okay. You ever get that feeling that you need to hit Control z in life? Thankfully, this is one of those games that allows that, but I should have known not to do this, but every single time, I just can't help myself. Every time, it's like, you know what? Maybe this time it'll be different. When secretly, I don't want it to be different. I want it to be the exact same. Oh, but no, I don't. Oh, but no, I don't. It's like a spider's web of lag. As the man after his work shift said to the hooker, get it off. Well, I didn't think tank... X would work! Or is that zero? It's it's zero. Yeah, whatever. The one I played. I didn't think the item I just picked up would work. I really didn't. Thought to myself, no, there's no way. I, I, just, I, I thought about the laser, like the brimstone. It can't just trigger around a circle of itself. That's stupid. Didn't think about the little projectiles with fire constantly intertwining and linking. It looks really cool. However, the noise 
is akin to waterboarding to my ears. Well, if you want to know something fun about Ragman in the board game, you want to know something fun about Ragman and Fort Souls, well, I'm going to lay this down for you. You kill him, and if you roll certain numbers, I believe it's a one or a six, maybe just a six, but if you roll those, he goes back onto the top of the monster deck, meaning after you've killed him, you must fight him again. Not directly, not immediately after the other. You can end your turn, and somebody else has got to put up with it. But point is, the motherfucker doesn't stay dead. It's the common called... Yes! It's my favourite colour. Sure, the comments will say it's not a creative colour, but I'll stick my fist up your ass. I like it, and it's much better than that awful fucking <laughs> black mould colour we had. Even though black mould is black, you just needed to say mould, Brett. You didn't need to add another fucking word, especially one that makes it wrong. But you did it. Every time you do it, here we are. Uh, given the item I picked up, I am sick of myself. But anyway, a few mod creators out there, if you want to make a Johnny Cash character, then you basically the beginning of this video, the ingredients to trigger this initial version of the weird ring of fire that actually looks like fire and not a big old wonderful hula hoop if not, then <laughs> you can go ahead and make that. It's probably a good idea whenever it comes to these characters or builds or whatever. Turning them into an actual official thing, we haven't got to go into the goddamn console debug thing every a hello, single time, very rarely see you, always see you when I'm cheating. So sorry. It, it makes it a lot better than having to do that, so you just got it there to select whatever you want. Just saying, if anyone wants to do that, I'll be grateful. And also, after spending five to six hours converting every single card on the spoiler site into an asset we can use properly in a 1920 by 1080 format, easy to edit and less fiddling around, after spending five plus hours on that, I think it totals five and a half. I could have miscounted it. It may have been six and a half. After doing that, you better believe there's going to be Four Souls content on the channel. If there isn't already by the time you've seen this, there should be. If there isn't, my bloody bad. But either way, fact of the matter is this. After doing that, you're damn sure getting content. Never mind about the game's solid. Boiling blood. They will suffer if by they... <laughs> you meant the entities that were once my eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree. I think they're well and truly in the center of that at the moment. <laughs> now that I've found 2020 and given myself an excuse to add some more, I think I'm now morbidly obese with how mad fat this build's about to be. I'm also going to remove Isaac's Isaacs so we can actually see the goddamn fire, all right? It's supposed to be a ring of fire. It's already green. We don't need the projectiles not actually being flame. Oh, and by the way, did I did I care to mention that because of the way that Ludo and Dr. Fetus interact with each other and the brimstone, uh, the damage resistance on Hush doesn't get to work for once because it's a constantly regenerating source of damage. It isn't... It isn't a beam. It isn't the usual Ludo brimstone circle. No, 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 no. Also, a circle would be whole. It's a ring, you dingus. No, it's constantly spawning and deleting over and over again. Hence the fact that it's barely animated and there's two layers of it just over each other, flicking in and off. What? Flicking in and out, turning on and off. Those are my options. Mix them. Always do that. Hate myself. If I had a choice between dealing with the rodents and having breakfast, I'd eat rat poison. By the way, point is, you get the science behind it. I, I actually do quite like the whole explaining the science behind why these things are overpowered these days. Like, for real. The joy in this game for me stopped being playing it and clearing it legitimately. Did that enough? The joy now is just finding broken stuff and finding out or figuring out why it is. So I can try and create more broken stuff in the future. I mean, this. This is just lovely. I don't know about you, but I, I like it. Hey, hello. I, ooh, after hush, I kind of forgot how quickly things should be dying. <laughs> Well, that was short-lived. Also, get a load of how Isaac looks, that boss, in, uh, in, 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 in the card game. God bless, I don't know why, but seeing that, I want, like, a, another Isaac game where, where I'm, like, a hack-and-slash dude. Where, like, 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 castle crashes. I want an Isaac castle crashes after seeing that. And I don't know why my brain puts it together, but it does every time I see it. Monstro's Lung. All right. Come at me, bro. Is it, will you break it? Literally break it? Yes. Oh god. Oh. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh lord. This is not good. That is the. Oh! You never. You have. It. <laughs> Remember earlier when I asked you if you have that moment where you say the thing and it ends up defining the next thing to come? You ever ask a question? 
and regret it on so many levels that you desired a certain outcome and got it a thousandfold more than you ever would have wanted. Which still not over, the bombs are gonna blow up. I do pray for this result. Well, at least little Spew is happy. I've been living in the frame where the bombs exploded without exploding as they've already hurt me. And the health hasn't even been lost yet. I I I'm glad that he is enjoying this internal damnation of time itself. Coming to a stop. Crawling to a close. You thought that the, uh... Oh, well, I was, I was gonna say the inevitable sun death was gonna be the end of our time. No, no, it was Isaac tearing out too many bombs. I... I think we're good? There you go. That's Monstro's long gone. Let's go in a fresh room and... There you, there you go. We, we, we fixed it. <laughs> We shouldn't be congratulated for it, for we are the ones that broke it. Uh, <laughs> but hey, uh, it's alright. Also, by the way, I've just realised how ridiculously excessive tech uh, zero has started working. I should be dead. Wait, how would this work, given the fire going on at the moment? Oh! 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 Okay, good grief! That was a little bit more than I was bargaining for! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Shall I remove that? Alright. If, if, if the game breaks, I'd have been known that it was for the, for the sake of science. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Yes! That's really pretty! What the? Let me explain what I thought. Maybe you're on the same wavelength as me at the time. If not, here it is. Ipecac plus tetrachromacy equaled bombs coming at me and me being dead. Then it turned into basically an army of Haunters and Gengars, and I couldn't be happier. I now have a ring of fire again, even if the colour is still that of snot. It's fine. Also, I just realised... Oh, dear God. J just realised that... Spoonbender actually does trigger ever so slightly for a frame on certain enemies. We're good, I may have cheated and given myself some health. Okay, in one room the Ipecacs don't go off, in others, well, I mean, the rules are subject to change. And when you play in the board game with friends, you got some house rules, only, you know, this is a game, not a board game, and it should be consistent, but it's not. Also, that is supposed to be a really tanky enemy that, like, scales to you and your damage, and yet it were melted quicker than butter on the surface of the sun. I don't know why, but I am happy about it. There he is. Uh, whoa, 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 I just spawned in and he's dead. What? No, 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 no. I didn't even hit him. What are we? What has happened? Is he dying perpetually? I entered the room. His health bar was on zero. And now he is in a perpetual state. Of trying to die? Uh, it's what we're gonna do for the sake of science and hopefully a con concise ending for, for this poor boy. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start the floor again and hope that this uh, fixes itself. And we got delirium. Not hitting A, not skipping, health bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that when the final boss is brought to this level of exasperation, desperation, and general bereavement of one's own life, <laughs> with our particular weapon of choice, the stupid gimmick name of this build, that even he has ended up being burnt out. <laughs> If you enjoyed that and you want to support this show, then please do like the video and maybe subscribe for more. And if I could convince you to follow me on Twitch for streams and on Twitter for memes, then that'd be dandy too. And finally, I'd like to thank the people that supported us so graciously on Patreon by going the extra mile. And that'd be David Beasley, Austin J. Forver, The Hernies Man, Casey McClara, Zach Rousseau, AJ, Surface Munt, Spent the Man, Edgy Suck, and MT Storm.